I actually did raise concerns uh, about Imran Khan around what was going to happen in terms of the process, the accusations against him, uh, and I implored the Pakistan uh, government uh, to ensure that due process and fairness uh, uh, was followed throughout all of that process. I do think it's important that you know that was mentioned here in the UK uh, House of Commons. Um, because I believe that that helps, you know, create a degree of protection. The people are watching what happens. Remember, Imran Khan was someone who is, you know, in his previous career before politics, very loved around the world, including here in the UK, because of his phenomenal abilities as a cricketer. You know, he's a household name in the UK as much as he is in Pakistan. And so this is someone who clearly has a very strong belief, has a lot of support um, from people in the, uh, 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 in the grassroots of Pakistani society. And as I've always said, you know, we must respect democracy, free and fair votes of everybody that's legally able to participate should be allowed to go forward. You know, I don't think that if uh, anything was to happen to, Pakistan, uh, to, to Imran Khan in Pakistan, that that's going to be a good look for the country. You know, um, I think that it's really concerning that there is a threat to his life. And I would hope that the Pakistan government are doing all they can to ensure that whatever processes he does face, that his life is not threatened in any way whatsoever as a former Prime Minister and as someone who's been a phenomenal ambassador for Pakistan on the global stage. Thank you very much.